Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Man, oh man, what a week it's been. Okay, guys, so we are now at the tail end of the Setsui Awakening. We have one more day of Akuma left, and then we have ourselves the brand new Evil Ryu fight. But before that, we've now got the Dark versus Light away, um, boss available now, as well as the puzzles and everything else. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this and try to get this done for you guys so you guys can kind of see what it's all about. And then we're going to go ahead and move on with something else. So first off, uh, you guys can see here, uh, similar setup. You get manuals, you get bosses. Let's just go through this super quick, okay? So we don't have to really stress about this. I'm not going to really change much here. I'm just going to try to go in uh, and just talk while this goes on. Now, I will say with this event, okay? So I always do a review when this event's over, when the events are over, so you guys can get an idea of my thoughts and feelings about this. I will tell you now, this has been the messiest event so far. It hasn't been the worst event, it's been the messiest event. And what I mean by that is that they haven't really done a good job of telling us what we need to know. We had to do a lot of figuring out our own, which is fine sometimes, but it was too much um, back and forth between confusion and misunderstanding. So what I mean by that is, so for example, secret training, okay? We couldn't even unlock stage four and five uh, because it's gone now. So we don't know what difficulty stage four and five would have even given us. Stage two had secret manuals that nobody knew about unless the content creators made a content about it. There was no mention of it at all within any of the notes that came out. And it was one of those things where you're kind of like shaking your head being like, why would you guys not just tell us this? Like, why, why did it take... Why would it take us having to figure this out through a content creator or other content creators, right? It's just, it didn't make any sense that this was happening. So um, that part kind of sucked. The other thing that really is annoying, of course, and we've talked about this numerous times, is the mistranslations. Now, it didn't happen all the time where it was like, you know, the mistranslation was going on nonstop, but it happened enough where it definitely frustrated a lot of folks, especially like myself and others who have been testing Akuma, for example, in his coercion for like two days now. And I'm talking about, if you guys show you guys the logs of the, me and people talking, it's obscene the amount of time we spent trying to figure this out. Now, some of you might be like, Payne, why the hell are you spending all this time to figure it out? Well, you know what? The reason why it's so important to figure these things out, if we're not told, is because in the future, when there is lingo that's very similar, or if there's a, there's a, uh, like a boss that has a, a very similar mechanic, it's important for us to be able to say, hey, we've done this before and we understand the solution. And not to mention, I think it's only fair that people have the opportunity to know and then be able to build on that. Okay, and what I mean by that is a lot of people are struggling to get top 50, even though they deserve it because of mistranslations or because of bugs, for example, that bug where people were in a loop to do multiple battles versus like one person had four teams while his battle whole battle zone had one team. Like that's, that's ridiculous, right? So with simple things like that, like things that we shouldn't have to find on their behalf, like now I'm, I'm hearing, and I don't know if this is true. Like this is obviously a rumor that they may not even have a testing team, which I doubt. I, I'm sure every team has a testing team. There has to be some sort of quality assurance that happens beforehand. But again, I wouldn't be surprised if, if you know, this is something that they they don't test well and they just release because they are, they're on a schedule. Like every every change schedule is different. Every change schedule is usually rushed by senior management or whatever the case may be, right? So it's one of those things where, like, just take a little bit more time, guys. this up and what do we do in this one like across maybe twice Does that work mm -hmm. hold on maybe i'll move this one over one over one to the side one to the side there we go. I think we got it. Okay. And there you have it, guys. All done. Oops. Get back. All done. Okay. Let's move through this. Get these rewards. And move on. So, yeah. Um. I mean, overall, guys, the event itself, like I said, isn't bad. Like, I do like the... 
the fact that there's different bosses, right? That's always been that's always nice. It's always nice to fight multiple bosses throughout the throughout the game rather than like, you know, fighting Dante and different versions of Dante plus Bison with him and then, you know, or the first time we fought uh Akuma the whole time. So it's like it's it's nice to have that that variety for sure. To be able to fight like T Kami, Vega, Akuma, and then Evil Ryu uh coming up next. So that part I do like. Now my fear of course is the fact that with with how confusing and um mistranslated Akuma's moves were I'm scared of how evil he's gonna be. I was joking with Evo yesterday when we were testing. I was like, it's probably gonna be like we have to, you know, it's like I don't know if you guys played the original Metal Gear where you have to, in order to fight Psycho Mantis, you have to use like a second controller. Nobody figured that out until later on that it was just like a gimmick. I feel like it's gonna be the same thing with this, where like you have to uninstall the game, reinstall it, and then you have to fight Evil Ryu to even do any damage to him. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see something crazy like that. Yeah, there we go. Now at this point, the manuals are going to be to complete the entire, um, the entire section for, um, what's it called, the battle lust, including the EX move. So make sure you max those out. Obviously, at this point, you're gonna have a max account, so your damage is gonna come through from your characters and the way you set them up, rather than uh, anything else. Okay, so remember that that's the main goal. It's to set up a proper team so you guys can maximize your damage. So that's why I'm gonna make guys for you. I've been top thirty for my free to play every time uh i've been top two for my my main one which is pretty incredible shout out to frenzy again uh for number one for kicking my ass at street fighter a hundred times yesterday um we played on his uh his twitch account so check out his twitch account frenzytv.com uh or dot twitch maybe I, I don't know how it works but uh he is uh, incredible at street fighter and uh, i'm jealous at his um reaction time because he makes me feel older uh, than I ever felt in my life because I used to be good at Street Fighter and now I feel like I am a 90 year old learning to play the PlayStation 5 for the first time when I play them. So if you want a good challenge, check out Frenzy's um, FrenzyTV.com. Also, Marky Mark, uh, our boy Mark, is also playing Street Fighter 6. So check out those guys on their channels for Street Fighter 6 content. And if you feel like playing Street Fighter 6 with them, they're actually decent. Uh, Mark and I, Mark's, I think, a little better than I am. He's had a, a lot more time to play with his JP. But uh, I, I'm starting to starting to beat him once in a while here and now myself. So definitely a lot going on. Now, with Street Fighter Duel, I did show you guys Sagat's um, kit yesterday a little bit, like a, his translated kit that is, right? Uh, I think that we're going to expect to see a good PvP character and a PvE character, but he's going to be useless for bosses if they maintain his, uh, his current um, kit. Because all of his damage really comes from the fact that he stuns. And you guys know you can't stun stun uh, stun bosses, right? So he might end up being a very useless boss unit, but a very, very good PvE, PvP unit. I think PvP specifically, he's probably going to shine. So if you're looking for a good PvP unit, you may end up going for him for Sagat. Now, keep in mind, I did the same thing with Dante, and they completely revamped Dante's kit, and it was a whole lot different. So we may see uh, a complete different Sagat as well. He might not be a stun character. He might end up being a, a pure DPS balance character, right? So... Uh, keep that in mind that uh, take what I put out yesterday with the grain of salt, except for my eye patch. That was pretty legit. Um, but yeah, take take the moves with a grain of salt for now, and then hopefully we'll see what happens. But at the same time, note that we don't know his cars, right? I, I keep saying that to you guys. The cars are not available to us, so we don't know what they do. So that's going to also make or break the character for the most part, um, as it does for a lot of different characters, right? The cars usually improve the characters quite a bit. Like Dante was pretty useless until he got his freeze option from his cars. And then all of a sudden he was a sought out character for PVE and PVP. So, right, let's just wait to see what happens with his cars. But I am pretty psyched for Sagat because I do want to see him in this game. He, excuse me, he is the alpha version that I love the most. That version of him is the best version ever, in my opinion. Uh, because I always found that the version that they had on the original Street Fighter 2, he was just too skinny. He was just a lanky dude, right? And also, like, they casted the Street, <laughs> the Street Fighter 2 movie the one with Jean-Claude Van Damme, they cast it as a god that was so super skinny and lanky, and I, it upset me. So it's nice to see a buffer, bigger Sagat in the game. Okay, so here we go, guys. We're going through this right now. Should be able to get this done fairly quickly, and then we'll move on to the boss. I'll get the score. I'll do a quick summon, and then we'll jump on to the free-to-play section later, and then I'll show you guys how to get the score for free-to-play like I usually do. Oh, there's a bison in this. Whoopsie. I, I, like, I saw his image. I, didn't, I just didn't expect him to be in, in the tag position. Okay. There we go. All done. <clears throat> Use Viper for that battle if you need to kill Bison, by the way. She'll she'll get it done for you. Okay. 
So this is coming up now as the boss. <clears throat> now this boss is annoying. She's the one that takes away your super bar, by the way. Okay, so we're right there. <clears throat> excuse me, excuse my throat. Oh, nice, we got 10, 10 tickets. Okay, so you need 48, I mean 48, 48 million is not bad. 48 million is very doable. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up my TCAMI team here just to get this done. Uh, where's TCAMI? There she is. Uh, here we're gonna put Bison up here. We'll put in MH can here. And then we'll give this dude Sakura, Fashion Sakura. This is my 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 pay, my my main account, right, guys? So I'll I'll make like I said, I'll make you guys the free to play version of this. Uh, this is gonna easily reach the amount I need, but I'll show you guys the proper version later. Okay, for the for the free to play, should easily be able to reach it. And you guys can do your summons, and hopefully, some of you who have not yet got him will get yourself your evil reuse that you've been waiting for the whole time. Uh, I used the wrong uh, wrong ex move accidentally. That sucks. Oh, here we go. Let's just get it done. I just need 40 million. I'm not looking. This is not a crusade boss, so I'm not looking to max out my damage. I just need a, the bare minimum. She does hurt, though. She does hurt a lot. Oh, kill my cami. That sucks. Oh, kill everybody. Did I get the score? Probably did. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's done. Uh, let's go ahead and max out the EX move. And like I said, you guys should have enough now to max out every single thing in here. Making your Akuma score hopefully go a little higher. So that's everything, right? We're done. We got more than enough manuals. I don't know what they're going to do with the rest of the manuals, but there you guys have it. Let's go in and do a quick summon. I should give you the rest of the rewards, except for these two here, which you'll have to spend on. Uh, not a big deal. We can do that later. Uh, yeah, we'll do this later on today. Special summons. Let's see if we can get ourselves an evil Ryu this morning. Again, best of luck to you guys. If you guys are not saving, if you guys are looking to summon. Nah, not good. Not good. Okay, before I do the next one, uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy the tokens, the three that I usually buy, and we'll see what happens. Level 141, man, we're rolling. Okay, hold on. So let's go to shop. One, two, three. I need this too, actually. Running low on those. And the cars. Okay. And then if I go to summon again, we'll try eight of them, okay? <clears throat> Maybe we got a single. Who knows? One out of so we got we spent ten so far. Let's see if my luck is gonna continue at all. Nope. It's one, two, three, four, five, three more, six, seven, and last one, guys. Eight. That is it, folks. We are done. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. We'll see you in the free-to-play section.